hello in this video i am going to show you how you can add product dynamically from admin side so first of all we need to create one page so i am going to add here new item web form and form name is add product.sph and we need to select master page now i am going to add and we select admin.master and then ok yes now in our database we need to create one more table so in this database i am going to right click here and add new table now i am going to take some field id integer then i need product name where here then i need product description it is also where here and then i need product price that is integer then i need sorry product product qty it is also integer and then we need product underscore images it should be where here where here mats copy and here also we need where here mats ok now we need auto increment to this field so set primary key then select this integer and scroll here you can see here here one column identity specification and in this identity specification in this is identity you have to do yes so it is now auto increment now save and table name should be product okay now okay now when we upload image on that time i am going to delete this folder just consider now we have two folder generally admin and user this is the most our two panel now i am going to create one new folder new folder and folder name is images when user upload images from admin side we need our images inside this folder so now first of all i am going to take your field table trtd and here h3 and i am going to take add product page okay now table trtd we need to take text box and everything so product name td asp text box and id is equal to t1 and run it server okay so now we need to copy this and paste here first product name then product description and here we are going to take t2 now third one then we are going to take product price product price and now we need here t3 now again fourth one product quantity product qty and here we are going to take t4 now product image and here we need file upload control so this is not required asp file upload id f1 and run it server yeah and we need now one button tr td here we need call span to align center and now here we need button asp button id is equal to b1 and run at server and text is equal to upload okay now in designing
we have to double click on this button to generate event yeah so our event is generated now we are using system dot data and using system dot data dot sql client so we need to add this to library now here sql connection con is equal to new sql connection double quotes here at the red sign and now right click on this database properties and you have to select this connection string copy and paste over here now first of all we need to do that when user select images and press click button on that time we need images over here so first of all we are going to take coding of that so first of all i am going to declare two variables string a comma string string a comma b now f1 dot save as request dot physical application path this path this path it is up to here means uh, this part path is similar to this page so now here we have to pass dot slash images i pass here dot because we need to go one step back because you can see i show you right now we are in this folder so this this is trying to find this images folder inside this folder but we our folder is outside not inside this so we need to go back one step so i use this dot slash and f1 dot file name dot to string hmm. using this we can add images but i will show you what happen it will take some time to load first time okay now i am going to select these images and going to upload now stop and then refresh you can see here we get here images but one problem is that uh, this year uh, when i am going to upload the same image second time then this image will be overwrite so this is not a good idea so we have to do that when user upload images then we need unit name of images so for unit name i will show you how you can generate unit name so for that we have to use one class file which generate unit number in video description you can see the download path of this class file so you can easily use in your project now what happened i copy this class file and in this app code folder you have to paste this class file if you don't have this app code folder then don't worry right click here asp.net folder and select this here you can see app code but right now i already added this app code folder so i cannot see over here if you don't get then you will get here app code click on that so you get this folder on this folder you have to paste so you can see i get here class one file okay now how to use this class one file we have to just copy paste here and i get here a is equal to so i get 10 
digit random number if i am going to pass here 5 then i get 5 digit random number if i get 15 then i get 15 digit random number but in this random number we do not need the star a street sign we do not do not need any special character so i am going to remove this special character so i get random number between this okay now this a we have to pass here a plus now i show you what happened now i am going to upload this image again i am going to upload this image same image again i am going to upload same image and again i am going to upload this same image so i upload this image four time now we are going to check that we can see one two three four i got this image four time but you can see here all images name should be different so this is the important code of uploading dynamic image now this is perform now we have to do here only database connectivity connection open connection close sql command cmd is equal to c1 dot create command cmd dot common type is equal to common type dot text cmd dot common text here we have to perform our insert query and then cmd dot execute non query now here we take uh, one b variable in this b, b, b variable we have to use this code because in database we do not need this request dot physical application path we need only path so this is for path and here we do not require this dot slash okay so now we are going to perform here insert query insert into our table name is product and then values and we need to pass five field one two three four five single double plus plus copy paste 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 and in this last you have to pass this bit dot to string and here we have to pass our text box name is t1 dot text here t2 dot text here t3 dot text and here t4 dot text and product price and product quantity this is for product price and this is for product quantity these two we take integer so we do not need these single quotes so i am going to remove this single code yes so our insert query is performed on table we are going to check first of all i am going to run product name is equal to testing perfect product price is 2000 product quantity 2 and i am going to take here this image and upload now we are going to change in our database right click here and show table data We can see here product name testing product description perfect product price 2000 product quantity 2 and here we get here our image path now sometime what happen uh, when you are close this then you can see this will be going from here so if you want that 
again then you have to go here view and server explorer so you get here the server explorer again now so you understand now how you can upload this product dynamically from admin panel so this way you can perform this operation thank you so much for watching my video and in my next video i am going to show you how you can display this uploaded image from admin side and how we can display this item in user side so thank you so much for watching my video